Today I'm going to review how innovation works and why it flourishes in freedom by Matt Ridley. So this is, well, Matt Ridley's written a lot of books, but this is his third book in kind of this trilogy all about um, like the evolution of innovation and technology and ideas. Uh, they're, they're these kind of strange books that kind of sit in between a bunch of different topics, but there's a lot of similarities between all three of these books. So the first one he wrote was uh, The Rational Optimist, where he just talks about how progress evolves and uh, why you should be optimistic about the future. And then in the second book, uh, which is called The Evolution of Everything, he talks about how ideas evolve and how technology evolves and how it happens in this kind of chaotic system where everyone's trying to iterate on the same ideas and then, you know, innovations seem to pop up all over the place at around the same time. So he's arguing against this idea that like a, a single person invents a new technology, but it's really, it's this kind of marketplace of ideas that just evolves over time. And in this last book, he's trying to talk a little bit more about innovation and what makes it take place. But for me, this book was really similar to his last book, The Evolution of Everything. And so right off the bat, this book kind of started to disappoint me. The first few chapters especially are really just summaries of ideas he made in his last book. Uh, they really didn't add anything. And I think, you know, the problem with this book stems from the fact that the main point of this book is really just an extension of the point in, in his last book. He has to rebuild that whole argument from scratch just to extend it a little bit in this book. So it really feels like this book and his last book should have been put together. And I think if he did that, he could have cut this book down to like 75 pages from like 350. So a lot of this book, I think it felt kind of redundant for me because I've read his other books. And so I knew a lot of his ideas already. My favorite section of the book was about patents. It's a pretty short section, but for me, I really enjoyed it and uh, it's pretty therapeutic to hear someone voice a lot of opinions that I've had, especially looking at things like software patents. So he made some really great points in this book, but I could never really get past all of the negative attributes of this book. So my biggest annoyance with this book was the tone and style of argument. Uh, throughout the book, he kind of comes across like a political pundit writing an opinion piece. I mean, there are arguments, but a lot of times they're very short, they're very opinionated, and they seem to straw man opposing points of view. And I think a lot of people will be put off by that, especially with kind of the sensitivity people have to political topics. I think they'll really recognize the style of his tone and uh, hold that against him in, throughout the book and that'll kind of take away from the good points he has. So, you know, I'm split on this book. I liked portions of it, but I really don't think I can recommend it to most people. The only people I would recommend this book to are people that read his last book, The Evolution of Everything, and are still interested enough that they're willing to read a whole nother book to just expand that point of view a little bit. But if you haven't read that book, I would just read that one. I would skip this one and read that. I think that book makes a more foundational point of view and this this book really just extends it a little bit. Uh, I kind of I enjoyed some of this book but I don't think it's for everyone and I don't think it's his best work. So yeah look at some of his early stuff. I would recommend The Evolution of Everything. So I hope you guys like this review. I've got more reviews coming soon so like subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next one.